Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily jump to any of your JavaScript modules in VS Code. Now, I would assume that this would work on other languages and platforms with imports as well. I primarily write JavaScript. So uh, for me, this is what this is going to be encompassing. Now, keep in mind that this feature came with Atom uh, Editor as a plugin called Hyper click, I believe. And in VS Code, it's in here by default. It makes getting around VS Code really easy, especially if you're working in something like React or any sort of import heavy thing where you have a bunch of different components. For instance, I could be working on this component and I could say, hey, this cart component, I'd really like to edit this. Now, there's a couple ways you could go about this. You could do Command P, open this up and start typing cart, right? Especially if it's recently opened, it could be in your recents. But a really nice way to do this is simply just hold the Command key on Apple. I believe it should be the Control key on Windows. If it's not, please correct me. And what you can do is you'll notice that the component now actually gets a little mini peek into the definition of this component, but it also underlines the component name. Now, why is that interesting? Because the underline means it's a link now, and we can click on that link. And as you can see, it opened the correct file and took us directly to the definition of this thing that we clicked on. Now, this also works from the import directly. If we were up top here and we're like, oh, let's see what this card is. Hold down command, click on it, and there we are. We're right here, exactly where we want to be, right? Again, uh, item detail here. What is item detail? Well, it's actually not even a separate module. It's just a styled component definition. So if I click item detail, here it is. It just jumps me to it, even if it's in the same file. So it just jumps you to the definition of whatever you're trying to access. And this works all over the place. Um, and works pretty much anywhere that I've found except for one minor issue. I've been using a lot of absolute imports with forward slashes uh, to start them, and it's not working for these just yet. Or who knows if it will be. But in most situations, it works really nicely. What's interesting about this is if I do remove that first initial forward slash and try it, it works. So uh, just one caveat there, right? If you're using uh, absolute imports that look like this, it's not going to work. If you're using them like this, it will work, okay? For the most part, it, it works, right? Unless you're doing some specific thing here. And to be honest, I couldn't actually find the name of what this feature was. I Googled around. I mean, it's hyper click in Atom Editor, but I couldn't find the name. So if you know the name, please leave a comment in the video. I will update the description of this video explaining directly the name of this feature. But it's basically a hyper click feature to click to the definition. Go to the definition, right? If you're already at the definition, it just keeps you there. So I hope this was useful. This is something I use all the time in VS Code. And if you're working import heavy projects, I'm sure you will too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you would like to help support Level Up Tutorials, head to store.leveluptutorials.com. I got a ton of series there for sale. I also actually have a bunch of new stuff coming. I'm doing a big series on Figma right now. You're going to become a Figma master with this series. Um, and if you don't know about Figma, it's basically like a next generation drawing tool. It's a lot like things like Sketch. However, you have access to components, right? You can build components that actually have constraints and sort of CSS like properties. You can manipulate them on different types of designs and it's going to respond directly. So if you're a developer who works in React and you want to be designing stuff, Figma lends itself really nice to that mindset and workflow. So keep your eye out for that. It's going to be out this month or you can become a level up pro. The price is going up this month. Uh, I believe it was gonna be halfway through this month, but I'm working on a new shopping cart for the site. I wanna get that done first. So the price will be going up once that new shopping cart is done. So if you would like to become a level up pro and get streaming access to all the stuff along with future series, you can get in now at the $8.99 a month price or pay yearly and get that price, which is uh, the lowest it's ever going to be. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.